What is going on everybody and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. Hey guys, if you haven't already, make sure you're checking us out on social media, on Instagram and on Twitter, both at Exploring Attractions because that's where we post all of our latest and greatest theme park news up to date as soon as it releases from all these different theme parks as soon as new construction or something new in construction has happened you know it doesn't matter what park it is maybe it's horn Nights, maybe it's super nintendo world doesn't matter we post that all on social media right away first so make sure you're following us and i'll leave that link down below in the description anyways everybody welcome back and welcome back to another halloween horn Nights videos i told you everybody that these halloween horn Nights videos would be picking up very very soon you know we were just out there a couple days ago filming construction because there's three mazes currently underway as the filming of this video hell maybe there'll even be another maze added you know when this video goes out but currently there are three mazes being constructed at universal studios hollywood and there's actually work going on at universal orlando for the different houses there as well for preparation for hhn 31 but one exciting thing that happened the past couple of days that gets the whole community roaring is the fact that horror night nightmares released both of their speculation maps for both coasts both orlando and hollywood so we're going to go over um, both of them today everything they have to offer Offer and just I'm going to share my thoughts on it as far as what I think about the different properties and originals that could potentially end up at the events this year. Now, before I get into these uh, speculation maps, I do want to make a note as I have to before every single video. These are just speculations. Now, this is not confirmed. This is, you know, Universal has not said anything, but usually following the track record of Horror Night Nightmares. And if we look back to last year's speculation map, they're usually about 80% correct with their speculation maps that they put out. And they put out different versions throughout the season. So they're always developing and whatnot, but they're usually about 80% correct with these different lineups that they put out. Now we're going to start off with the Hollywood side of things first. Obviously, all my Hollywood watchers, we're going to talk about the lineup that is Filled with a total of seven mazes this year and that's not including the terror tram of course now murdy did confirm earlier in the year that we are getting terror tram back that is rumored to be a hollywood harry themed terror tram which i'll be fall for that's probably one of my favorite terror trams of all time and yeah i, I really have nothing to say about this terror tram is coming back most likely i mean murdy practically unofficially confirmed it in a tweet earlier this year like i said so there's really not much to touch up on that the map goes over properties like universal monster of the mummy of the evil dead scarecrow which would be an original maze of the weekend killer clowns from outer space nope and la irona now immediately there's a couple things that stands out about this map and everybody's been talking about it so obviously we're going to get into that we're going to talk about the weekend and no i'm not talking about saturday and sunday i'm talking about the weekend the pop artist but there's also like a first glance at it i'm just like i want to say this is a killer lineup if this is true and most likely it'll be 80 percent true like i said in the beginning this is going to be a killer lineup and I've seen so many lineups of the year. I've experienced so many lineups. I think that this is probably one of the best if it stays true to itself. That's just my personal opinion. It depends on how they deliver as far as scene it goes and it's just as far as the overall maze experience. But I think this has the potential to be one of the best lineups if done properly as far as construction and set design goes. Like I said, we have properties on there like Universal Monsters the Mummy, obviously continuing that monsters trend. I'm all for it. There's really nothing that I'd be against this at all. And putting it in the mummy queue is just a little cool Easter egg, I guess. It does look like, like I said, I, we were out there filming uh, a couple of days ago. It looks like they're flipping the facade side for the mummy location. So that'll be interesting to see what the facade is there. Nope is a movie being released this year that is uh, put together by Jordan Peele, who is the creator behind Us and, of course, Get Out. And we have had Us over at Halloween Horror Nights in both Orlando and Hollywood before. And let me tell you, those are phenomenal maze experiences so i would be a big fan of jordan peele coming back to the event and bringing nope that would be rumored to be in soundstage 29 where exorcist was last year now i'm not too sure what that movie is going to be about as none of us have seen it we can kind of get an idea from the trailer but yeah there's really not much to say about that scarecrow is actually a house that orlando had in 2017 i believe it was and i believe it was a very good house i watched the pov i kind of watched the highlights and it looked like a very fun and entertaining haunted house experience so i'm always a fan of hollywood doing originals i think hollywood should do more originals and kind of hop on the orlando train even though i do love seeing the different ips and whatnot i would love to see hollywood take on more original takes on their different maze experience 
appearances. And now it's funny that Scarecrow is rumored to come to Hollywood because Pandora's box is actually rumored to go over to Orlando, which we'll talk about a little bit about that as we go on throughout the video. The Evil Dead we've had at the event before, uh, multiple reincarnations of it. In fact, we had Ash vs. Evil Dead in 2017 and we had the Evil Dead in 2013. Ash vs. Evil Dead wasn't the greatest maze, but I do remember the Evil Dead in 2013 being a really solid maze, so I'd be excited to see the Evil Dead return. You know, you're always excited when the classics return like that, so I'm all for it. bringing on not opposed to this at all. Killer clowns from outer space rumored for the Walking Dead location. That'd be interesting. That means we wouldn't have to worry about Walking Dead. Uh, Killer clowns from outer space, definitely the best maze by far of 2019. That maze, oh man, I wish I could walk through it again. And maybe I'll be able to. Maybe if this is true, I'll be able to walk through Killer clowns from outer space once again. I'm all for this and maybe they can even make a more permanent attraction there to replace the Walking Dead. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I think that'd be awesome for them to do. Um, you know, I don't know if this will be the same exact maze. I don't know if this will be some kind of original spinoff to the movie or maybe even that anticipated sequel that they've been hinting at for so, so long. And then, of course, we have La Irona, which is a fan favorite maze by far back in 2011 and 2012. This is my all my all time, not my all time now, because I think Rider Frankenstein Lives reaches that, and same with Killer Clowns. But in my top three for sure, it was my favorite for a long, long time up into the coming years. Uh, my favorite maze of all time at Halloween Horror Nights I've ever experienced. I am so excited if this is true, and this is one of those out of the blue speculations. So that's how you know there has to be some credibility behind it, because I don't think Horror Night Nightmares will just say, oh yeah. That's happening. We have no reason behind it or no credibility behind it, but we're going to put it on a speculation map to get the whole community riled up. If this is true, I will be so, so happy and I cannot wait. And I would hope that they wouldn't do the same exact maze, but they still have Easter eggs and different scenes from the original maze that they brought in 2012 and 2011. But man, uh, I, I hope they use that same facade and everything. That would be awesome. I, I really, really hope this is one that anything on that speculation map, I'm fine with changing. But if this one is true, th or if I could pick any one to be true, it would be this one. That is my 100% honest opinion. All right, everybody, but I saved the best for last, or should I say the most controversial? And that is, of course, The Weeknd. And like I said, The Weeknd, the pop artist, he sings Blinding Lights. He performed at the Super Bowl last year. And I guess last year would be like this Super Bowl, Snoop Dogg and everything. So I mean 2021, when they're in Tampa. At first thought, you could say, oh, The Weeknd's not horror. What horror elements are there? He has upbeat music. There's um, nothing that could be fit into some type of a haunted house experience. But if you actually go and watch some of his music videos and a lot of the backstory behind those music videos, there are a lot of horror aspects and a lot of stuff that could be implemented into a weekend themed maze or whatever the, you know, the name would be kind of a work in progress. But right now it's just the weekend. And this is where I may get a couple comments disagreeing with me. But I much rather see this than Billie Eilish that was speculated for so long for the 2021 event or the 2020 event that never happened. I'd be all for this. I, I Like I said, I take this over Billie Eilish and I think people are being a little bit too harsh. And I feel like this needs to happen to show people, hey, if there's stuff that you say, oh, that's not horror. Oh, this doesn't belong at the event. Oh, I, I'd rather just like chew my eyes out. Anyways, guys, all I'm saying is like you can't sell something out right away until you experience it. And I've learned that a lot over the years just covering theme parks and haunt stuff in general is you can't judge something until you experience it or until you see it in person. But I will say there's a, a lot of content to work with there. And keep in mind, you may say like, oh, maybe just a 30 second music video it doesn't have a lot to work with for a full-on haunted house experience yeah but there's some creative minds and some sadistic minds behind the weekend himself and just the horror nights team that can bring some of his own original ideas to life so i think there's definitely potential there it went as far as to the artist himself quote tweeting horror night nightmares a tweet talking about the weekend isn't horror and him just responding with a couple of horror themed emojis so uh, the weekend kind of unofficially confirmed his own representation at Horror Nights this year, which I, honestly it's cool for Horror Night Nightmares. It's cool the, the representation, but uh, yeah, there. If you guys aren't believing that at all, then I mean, there's proof. I guess there's an unofficial announcement. One thing that I did forget about is that a lot of people are saying that the facade over in Curious George looks a lot like the Fear Street houses, and 
yes, while there are some similarities to that, there really isn't no definitive shape to those and definitive comparableness to the actual facade being constructed to the Fear Street houses. And I know some people may disagree with that, but that's just how I see it. I saw it in person, and I think that's how it is. I think, like I said, um, my buddy Justin from HHN Manix made a good point, him talking about the Scarecrow uh, kind of rumor, and I'll put that on the screen right now, and you guys can read it yourself. But I really do not think that's Fear Street as much as I would like it to be Fear Street. But speaking of Fear Street, let's move over to Orlando, shall we? Now, of course, Orlando is going to consist of a lot more originals than Hollywood has. But one thing that is really, really interesting is the fact that Fear Street is on their speculated lineup and not Hollywood. I feel like the Orlando speculated lineup is a little bit less likely to be, you know, 80% true or 100% true compared to the Hollywood one. Because it's just such a weird mix of... IPs and originals that just it's just out of the blue you know like who knows if Fear Street even is going to come to either coast maybe it could be coming to only Hollywood and not Orlando and it could just be completely flipped but I mean there's consists of the Mummy vs. the Wolfman, Seaside Village which is an original, Fear Street, The Last of Us, The Curse of Pandora's Box which was our original, El Chupacabra, Underground Creatures, The Evil Dead, Halloween with no specific um, meaning onto what Halloween this is, and they would share the weekend with us. With this map also unofficially confirms the new Fast and Furious house location since they're losing Shrek. A lot of people are wondering where they're going to put another house at, and there's been lots of rumors going around in regard to the Fast and Furious supercharge location. On this speculation map, it looks like the weekend would be housed there at that location. But like the Mummy versus the Wolf Band, don't really see how that worked too much. I mean, they They'd make it work but I feel like just a mummy themed house would be a little bit better can't really comment on the originals other than Curse of Pandora's Box because I feel like Curse of Pandora's Box is kind of a given it'd be really interesting to see Orlando's take on it because I feel like obviously it's only been in Hollywood but that just feels like glued to Hollywood like I can't picture myself walking through the Orlando Pandora's Box and being like I'm in Florida right now, but I feel like obviously Florida will put a little bit more production into it and make it a little bit better and I'm kind of excited to experience that. El Chupacabra would be really cool to have as a house experience at HHN 31 this year. The other two I don't know much about at all, but then you have The Last of Us which came out of nowhere. Like I said, one of those things has just come out of nowhere. I think that'd be a cool house. Now Halloween, um, the reason I say a lot of this is I feel unlikely to be the actual lineup is because Halloween's just kind of thrown in there. Why is it just thrown in there? Because Halloween's been thrown in there on different speculation maps throughout the years, and it's typically incorrect. So who knows if Orlando will get Halloween? Maybe it could be one of the newer Hall Halloween movies. I, I think that'd be awesome. I think everybody's been asking for like Halloween 2018 for the longest time. And then of course, like I said, you'd have the weekend shared on both coasts. So that'd be fun to be perfect cross marketing and perfect advertisement. Maybe the weekend himself can go visit both of them and, you know, see which experience he likes better. But yeah, I'm, I mean, there's really not much to talk about in regard to Orlando's as, like I said, it's just kind of a random lineup. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad lineup. I think this would be a phenomenal lineup, just like Hollywood's. It's just so random in my opinion i don't know is it my the only one that gets that feel also it's kind of crappy because that means that this year the ips would outweigh the originals and usually that happens after anniversary years in orlando but still that's just kind of disheartening because in florida their whole thing is their original houses and that's what makes the event special so I don't know. It's going to be real interesting to see how this speculated lineup develops throughout the different versions of it. And now I do think that we'll get an announcement soon, maybe within the coming weeks or so for both Orlando and Hollywood. But we just have to wait and see as far as that goes. Maybe we'll get dates, maybe ticket sales. I don't know. Maybe just some kind of promotional art for the event. But if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe with those bell notifications on. And I hope you guys enjoy that video. Let me know down in the comments section kindly what you think about the lineups i don't like that negativity in the comment section you guys know that anyways everybody my name is scott and you've been watching exploring attractions positivity is key and most importantly remember to keep exploring peace out everybody